let's talk about the first law of thermodynamics. So, um, we have been talking too many things, let's tie them together. We talked about internal energy, we talked about work done, we talked about heat and let's, it's time to tie all these things together. So, as a model example, we talked about pistons in the last class, let's take an, another example. Let's say you have a piston cylinder which has a piston. Now let's say, let's assume that the, in, the temperature inside is same as the, uh, the pressure inside is same as the pressure outside. So the piston is not going anywhere, it's neither going up, it's not going down. But let's take this, um, this uh, piston and put it on top of a furnace. You know what a furnace is? Something red hot which keeps heat. Now, we, if we put it on top of a furnace, we know this has this gas is going to heat up, is going to heat up. As it heats up, and again, I'm just talking from observation, the experience, we're not really talking about uh, formulas here right now. So from experience, we know that this, the pressure inside of this gas is going to increase as the temperature increases. Uh, because we know, we already have talked about ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. We know that for the initial pressure V, as the temperature increases, the pressure also increases. So, f uh, for initial volume Vi, we know if you just keep it on the furnace, the temperature is started rising and because of that, the pressure will also start rising. As a matter of fact, V will also start rising. So, how this is playing is another story. So, as the pressure increases, we know the piston is going to move upward. So, what are the things happening? First of all, piston is moving upwards. What else is happening? We know temperature of gas is increasing. There is something else that is happening which is furnace is pumping heat in. Okay, so these things are, these three things are happening. So, now how can we relate, you see there is work, there is heat and there is temperature which is uh, nothing but internal energy. So how do we relate this? Well, we know that heat uh, energy remains conserved. So whatever heat is provided by the furnace is going to be split in two parts. First of all, um, there will be a change in the internal energy of the system. That's where the heat will go. Plus, the heat is going to do some work. So you see, the piston will do work, the temperature will increase, and all this will be done by the heat provider. And this is nothing but the, this is called, um, let's just make a box, this is called the first law of thermodynamics. And this is nothing but energy conservation. Dynamics. Dynamics. Okay, so now you, um, this, I mean, I mean, this formula can be used to handle any problem in thermodynamics. Um, which by that which means um, the one dealing with the work and change in energy and heat pumped in things like that, uh, which is nothing but energy conservation. Okay, so for example, let's say, um, um, let's say Q is 0, same as last class. If you remember, if you remember that we had a case in which there was a pressure P inside, which was more than pressure P2 outside. And what happened, the piston went up. 
in this case there is no furnace so q is zero so we and but in that case we remember there was a work done by because pressure the piston moved up so in that case zero equals delta e internal plus w so w actually work was done from the internal energy of the gas itself which simply means that when the gas stopped or was was done by was done after doing work on this piston the internal energy of the system reduced which means it was the internal energy that was doing all this work which simply means that temperature of the gas reduced so the problem in the last class uh, where piston moved up because there was a increased pressure inside compared to outside uh, the final state of the system will be that the both the pressures are going to be same uh, so this is the p1 is going to become p2 but the temperature of the system which let's say was t1 the final temperature of the gas is going to be less than t let's say ti here so that is nothing but coming from gas uh, this um, first law of thermodynamics uh, if you take um, uh, you can have many other cases it's just playing with this particular equation uh, we'll talk about certain processes that will make um, this um, will make more sense how to this use this equation when we talk about certain process like isothermal process adiabatic process and things like that which we'll do in the following classes